Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, at least one one. This is, as you would imagine, one one is. It's one of the easier, the easiest stage in the game. This game is known for being uh, quite difficult in the early game and easy in the late game. A lot of that has to do with the uh, weapons and stuff you pick up uh, in the game. Um, let's see. The the biggest uh, you'll see here. I get to scroll the screen up, but I can't. It goes at a fixed rate, so I can actually go. Dumped into the stage there. I can go a lot to faster, but I can't have the screen go any faster, so I have to actually slow down or I bonk into the top of the ceiling and I don't get the height I want. All right, 1-1's uh, one, almost done already. It's a pretty quick stage, and 1-2 is probably one of the most important points in the game, and I need to concentrate on it. Uh, so I'm going to send it over to the guys here. What just happened? Um, to go through 1-2. Yeah, there's a strength system in this game where, so your arrows start out just doing one damage. And a lot of the reason why this game is so difficult is because of this hidden strength system where... Oh, no! You, oh, no! Oh, reap edit. Uh, yeah, I, that happened in a practice earlier. I have to start all over again. <laughs> so that's about one, one, min, one minute, nine seconds, probably. That's too bad. But go ahead, go ahead with the strength. Yeah, so the strength system, um, we're going to see it in one, two. And in certain levels of this game, there, there's Zeus in a door just waiting for you. And in order for yourself to prove yourself to him and get this increased damage upgrade, you need to do various stunts for him. Uh, the best one of which, the, the uh, kind of most efficient one of which, is defeating enemies and feasting on their hearts. Uh, so usually, depending on if they give up small, medium, or large hearts, then uh, both defeating them and collecting those hearts separately gives you 100, 300, or 500 kind of points. And you need 10,000 points in order to uh, be eligible for the strength upgrade. So as Darkwing goes through 1, 2, you're going to see him, uh, whereas he's skipping most enemies now, very, and skipping all enemies now, yeah. uh, uh, very intentionally, you're going to be seeing him uh, killing a lot of enemies in 1, 2, even stopping at some points to uh, kill them as efficiently as possible. And the timer didn't uh, dying there doesn't change how this stage starts. They all start on the same global timer. It resets when you start a stage. As well, the score that he's going to accumulate is level dependent, so anything he did in 1-1 has no bearing on his actions in 1-2. Yeah. Yeah, you also lose, uh, can lose points by uh, shooting an arrow and missing, loses 10 points. Getting hit loses 300 points. Yeah. And going through a door gives you points yeah, as well. Yeah, I think it's like 300. I don't know if the door into Zeus's room counts. Do you know if that I counts? I feel like I tested it and I think it does count. Come on, I'll give it a yeah, the Reaper, Reapers have a very interesting uh, sight range. And uh, I was, he was in a door there. Oh, I went too low. Oh, disappointing. I was going to drop this Reaper down, but now I have to deal with him. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I missed that jump. Oh, no. That's a three-frame oh, jump. It's man. pretty tight. Three-frame jump. Um, so so it's, you're definitely going to miss those now and then. And unfortunately with that one, if you miss it, because the ice physics in this game are so funny. And... That's like, funny, that's not what I would call them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, funny, funny, not funny, haha. -ha. Funny like, oh, why'd you do this to me? Interesting. Why? Yeah. Or interesting. Yeah, yeah. Funny, peculiar. Yeah. And they actually affect you more after you jump in the air than uh, when you're on the ground. After you jump off ice physics, it takes a lot more input to turn around in the air. Yeah, that, that, one, that one is one of the only three frame jumps that you can kind of save. Uh, there but, you, is. but you know, you've got to commit to these jumps if you want to actually make them. Oh, so. man. Yeah, there's ice physics. That's, they're fun. <laughs> there you the go. Free there free it jump. is. Nice. Um, so you saw a moment ago Darkwing kind of did that Reaper drop uh, where you uh, just, if you kind of jump j just the right height, then, be safe here. then where the um, terrain kind of stops scrolling and where the Reaper starts spawning don't quite line up, and so the Reaper just says, oh, there's no floor behind me, let's just keep going, and drops down to the next floor below. I think I can do there, I, I was in a bad pattern there. Okay, that's fine. Don't lose any time to that Reaper spawn, or Reap at spawn. Yeah. Okay. 
Darkwing coming up on the Zeus door here. Let's see if Zeus feels he's worthy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I've got, like, he's way glad. too much. Zeus is glad. <laughs> Apostrophe glad. Apostrophe, Apostrophe glad. glad, yes. Yeah. That's the best kind of glad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that I think that's most impressive about Darkwing is that uh, he threw one, two, and one, three, which are a couple of the hardest stages. He takes very little damage. And so where a lot of the runners historically have kind of needed another uh, to take a death to be safe after completing one, three, usually he doesn't. So let's so see how he does. Yeah. yeah. I does. usually don't even get the health in one, two, but it happened this time. Yeah, the, the key to World 1, uh, it's really the three S's for the first three stages. The first stage is just speed, because you just want to go through. You don't need any points for anything. The second stage is all about score, because you need your 10,000 points for the, for the upgrade. And now this one is all about survival, because this is a treacherous climb. And Darkwing just needs to make sure that he has enough health going into 1-4. I should be able to get the right platforms here. I'm going to be spawn, uh, manipulating some platforms to do this in one cycle. Okay, good. Nice. That looks a lot, it uh, doesn't look quite as good as it really is, because that's hard to do properly. So to get it in the first cycle, I'm, that was one, the one thing I really wanted to get. Uh, one of many things, but uh, one specifically that I wanted to do is to get that cycle when I was able to get it. So nice. I'm very pleased with that. If you notice these enemies spawn in uh, groups of four. Uh, the next set of enemies will not spawn until the entire previous set is uh, eliminated from the screen, either killed or their hearts have disappeared if you've, uh, if you've killed them. So he likes to keep, um, in, in future areas, he likes to keep <laughs> one I'm on happy. the screen. To, happy Reaper uh, skip. Yeah, the Reaper didn't see me. That's there. fantastic. I'm very happy with that. And one, 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 two didn't happen. I'd be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, during this vertical climb, you saw that he jumped through a bunch of those uh, yellowish tentacles sticking out the size of the um, of the wall. Uh, the hitboxes in this game are very odd and skew left. <laughs> That's happened so rarely! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as he climbed, you noticed that he wanted to avoid the ones sticking off of the right wall entirely, but he could basically jump through the left ones, because it's really the leftmost pixel is the one that's going to damage you, and that's it. I rarely go through that second to last Reaper without being seen, but he didn't see me. That's so rare. One, one three saw what happened before, and it was yeah. just ready. To yeah, it's been really nice to me now. <laughs> All right, now we're getting a, we're doing a task clip here. Um, this is something that's been in the task for a while, but I'm I, for this event. I kind of incorporated into my route, so we're gonna see if we can do it. You're gonna know when you see it. There's a wall here. Just kidding. Nice. First try. Darkwing, I don't know how he's so consistent at these zips. We'll talk to the zips uh, in a little bit, but here we are at Twin Bellows, the boss of World 1. Um, and you can see here that Darkwing is spamming kind of... Oh, come on! Co uh, ...comboing, sh uh, shooting his arrow and ducking. If you just kind of tap fire as quickly as possible, you, you mash very slowly. But by alternating, ma uh, alternating fire and duck, you can just kind of fire as quickly as possible. So well done to uh, Darkwing. For, oh, for hey, I didn't even get the level. Of the oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. How perfect. All right, 2-1 is another score stage. Um, uh, World 1 is like the hardest thing. Now it's just fun at this point. Uh, I could still die I'm because I'm going for kind of fun record stuff here, but uh, that's a weird pattern. I don't get this pattern. I knew that was there. I knew it was coming. Uh, yeah, I'm in a weird pattern here. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, and these rocks get 500 uh, pops, so they, you definitely want to hit them as many as you can without slowing down. I'm a little behind here. That pig usually spawns a little bit, a few pixels right. So I'm a little behind where I want to be, but not a big deal. Yeah, it's the same kind of score idea as what we talked about before. Um, the difference is that he's not going to get kind of the bulk of his uh, hidden score from those groups of four flyers. Instead, a lot of it will come from these rocks. Uh, the rocks, fortunately, so you can see they drop big hearts there. 
So between killing a rock and collecting its heart, each one is 1,000, and you're aiming for 10,000. Um, but the rocks haven't all been all that kind to him. Ideally, you want them to spawn kind of, you want them to fall right on top of you in such a way where you can kill them and then immediately collect their heart. Um, but They were still in range, though. They're still know. in range of being okay, so I'm not uh, in a point to deviate. It was a little low, but we're fine at this point. We'll see how the rest of the stage, if I get a little bit barren stuff on the rest of the stage, it'll be a little bit something I have to take care of. But uh, right now we're fine. I'm not uh, changing my tactics or anything at this point yet. Oh, I shouldn't be shooting just randomly, shouldn't I? Okay. I was going to say, that was a very late spawn. We're still okay. I think we're alright. Uh, we'll get some pigs here. Two come up left. I, ooh, I might not get them. Oh, I did. Alright. Okay, we should be fine. That's fine. Glad. Yep. Alright. All right, we're coming up on 2-2. Two, two. This is the first time you'll see me do a screen wrap. And this is one of the first things I learned. So I had to learn a mnemonic to, because I'm going to be on the right-hand side of the screen. So I have to, I learned a mnemonic, and I can't do this without doing the mnemonic. So we'll be doing it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't go into this first door. Okay, good, I missed it. Short, short, short. Leap! Short, short, short. Leap! Short, leap! Waka waka, leap! Waka, short, leap! Waka, hop, biddy hop, biddy up, biddy up, biddy. Alright, for, for the record, uh, it used to be called walkover. But uh, I couldn't do the double one fast enough, so it ended up coming out Waka. I got a jump here to make sure. Yeah. Um, so uh, at this point, um, all the rest, I have to focus on this, and it's a pretty boring stage. So let's, uh, for the rest of the stage, we can send it over for donations. All right, we have $5 from Grizzly Zen. Here's $5 from my boy Darkwing. And don't forget, keep it going so the cats keep glowing. Best of luck from the Maldives. We have $10 donation from Kumog. My mother loved Kid Icarus when I was a kid, and I'm happy to donate this in her memory. Shout out to Danica, who's helped make this event be even more enjoyable for me. Um, a lot of the, so it's pretty neat as far as those um, kind of flying floor enemies and the, and the uh, platforms interact with one another. Those groups of, fly, of four flying enemies and the platforms actually share the same RAM address. So you can kind of see that, and I think those as well, you can mm -hmm. kind of see that uh, as uh, the platforms come on screen, if there are already four flying enemies, then one will disappear in order to make room for the platform in the RAM address. Um, and that actually winds up being used strategically later on. And not only that, but if, say, a plat say an enemy is on its kind of downward uh, speed as a platform appears, then that platform will be kind of appearing going down as well. And the same if the enemy is going up. All right, 2-3, we've got, uh, this is our only uh, routed death in the run, just to get my health back. And we have, an uh, this one's a little bit more risky. We have to be further right on the screen here. Um, so I do have mnemonic for the, ooh. oh, crap, I have to take another death. I don't think I can get through. No. Yeah, I went too far. Uh, I got a bad rock spawn, so we'll take another death here because uh, we got to get to the right-hand side of the screen. It's happened in practice once or twice, so... It's hard to tell when you're on a TV that's not yours. Yes, that's... Yeah, uh, at home it's like it's automatic, which is stage is what I call it. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit of different visual cue. Okay, we're good here. Statue. Pot. Statue. Brambles. Statue. Pot. Statue. Keep hitting that early rock, I'm not sure why. That late rock. One, two, three. I'm very far right, I barely made that. So that's actually why he scrolled the screen, is so that he didn't have to wait for that platform. And he's gonna carry this duration, th this uh, position on the screen, uh, quite a far ways into the level because we're gonna be seeing more of those platforms. And what that means is he needs to know what everything in this stage is very, very well. Second pot jump here. It also uh, first. 
one of the beneficial things is that those, these flying enemies don't go all the way to the right of the screen, so he doesn't even have to think about them. Mm -hmm. That's the main reason in uh, one two is to keep the in two two is to keep those on. Here, it's uh, uh, you have to be far right. Okay, pot jump, outcrop jump. All right, that's one. We got another one coming outcrop up. Jump. Nice. Those are very tight. Well done, Dark Lord. And he actually he actually got pretty bad luck as far as kind of how the enemy spawned the platform. The enemy was moving up, and so the platform was moving up too, so that just made it all the more difficult for him. Yeah, I had to be uh, on my lines properly there. So you can kind of see he gave the screen a bit of extra space just so he could react to what's coming. Um, I think it, it also kind of seems to uh, position the frogs in such a way where you can jump between them more fluidly. Yes, I know exactly what I, I'm on the right line here. I should be doing... I've seen this many times now, so I should be good. So 2-4, um, Darkwing, can I talk about the zip in 2-4 yes, a little bit? Yes, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. So in 2-4, um, Jorf actually found, it, the, the kind of investigation of this is very interesting, but um, Jorf found a zip, uh, and off of that, we started working with what else can we zip through? And the most helpful one, well, now one of the two most helpful yeah, ones. This is the is, second most helpful now. Yeah, <laughs> is in, uh, right here in 2-4. It saves about 40 seconds. Um, and you need to kind of, while you're in lava, Darkwing is going to be uh, jumping into the wall in such a way where he wants to make it through and zip to the other side of the screen. He does it first try. Like, these things are so hard. It's, it's a two-frame window into a two-frame window into a three, five, or eight-frame window, depending on how you did the first two uh, inputs. All right, really let's not die stuff. on draw this time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm at two health. Uh, yeah, I'm at two health. I got to remember that. Don't die to draw. All right. So, Hudra, you we talked about that crouch canceling before to, da to shoot uh, your arrows as quickly as possible. You can see Darkwing's doing that a lot. This is actually one of my favorite bosses in speedrunning because his uh, behavior and pattern is totally deterministic. It's entirely up to the runner to um, fire as quickly as possible and damage him as quickly as possible and take him out. Um, so Darkwing knows exactly where he needs to position himself and exactly kind of what jumps are optimal in order to uh, kind of damage them as quickly as possible. It's also about making use of the uh, kind of level terrain. That was a really good kill. Nice. Perfect. All right. Nice. Look at my health. I got no yeah. health. What zero happened? What health. happened? And if you look at the values, it's actually zero health. So what he's doing there is he's uh, setting up his health for an under, or right now his health ah, is underflowed, and slow. he is uh, he's able to take uh, damage from an environmental hazard, and if, when he does that, he will uh, refill his health completely. It avoids uh, taking a death at the start of the stage to refill his health. All right, this world, I, I'm like, I'm stress-free now. This world is so much fun to run. There's like, the first two, first world is really stressful. The second one is a little bit boring, like 2-2 two -two is boring, and ooh, this is new. All right. Okay. There's the overflow or underflow. I, uh, one yeah, of the two. so look at his health right now. He went from 0 to 15. You can tell that's 15 health, right? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the first, yeah, I mean, yeah, the first yeah. bar is 8, and the second one is 7. Why that is, I don't know. We took it safe because I don't know why. I usually don't. All right, three two is so. Oh, this is one of my favorite stages in any speedrun I've ever done. Hopefully, I do it correctly. Also, I hope you like that Reaper music. Yeah, it's gonna. You're gonna see it a lot here too. Yeah. Hear it a lot. Doesn't matter. That I got seen there. I prefer not, but it doesn't matter. I'll just take the hazard. Oh, wait, look, there's the hazard. Oh no. All oh, right, this affects things a little bit. Slows it down. Okay, shouldn't matter. Another thing that's easy to take for granted is that um, Darkwing is jumping oh, at shoot. heights. Uh, All right. Darkwing is jumping at heights to spawn platforms in a way he wants. Dang, I'm gonna see get other stuff. Whatever. Oh hey, I got, got flashy. The, you got the <laughs> grave reaver or reaper. Oh, he's going the wrong oh. way. Oh, that's new. oh, that sucks. Uh, so you see how slow it is if you don't do the yeah. manipulations right. That's I haven't done that wrong in forever. Marathon type stuff, I guess. 
Uh, it's just another example of being able to take be taken off guard yeah. uh, by kind of the way the platform is moving initially. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll make it up in uh, three, three, especially right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we got a fun like uh, you saw those three frame jumps in three three. That's one I've incorporated. I, oh, oh, I'm low on health. I gotta worry. All right, I'm gonna focus on that now. This which way did they go, George, is really, really being an issue. It's pesky. Um, okay, that's what I expected. All right. Should be good now. I do have to worry about the not Metroid up here. Don't, they're not Metroids. That's their official name. Very clearly not Metroids. Yeah, they're very clearly not Metroids. Uh, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since we're low on health, we're gonna do the. We're gonna take a death in three three to get our health back. I don't like doing it, but hitboxes uh, skew left. Yeah, hitboxes do skew left, so that's <laughs> good. Um. All right. So, so dark yeah, this uh, this one is a, a very manip uh, platform manipulation here. This is a very important one here. You saw how it uh, everything went wrong in uh, three two. This one's done correctly, so. Yeah, go ahead and talk about it. Like, yeah, so um, Darkwing, you can kind of see, he purposely left the two not Metroids, totally not Metroids, by the way, yep. um, the two not Metroids uh, alive so that he could uh, kill them when they were going to the right. The reason for that is because when he killed them going to the right, we talked a bit about how enemies and platform uh, interact in memory. Uh, if he killed them going to the right, then the platforms which would replace them in RAM also go to the right, leaving him enough time to, to meet a uh, platform cycle that he would other otherwise have had to wait for. All right, guys, convince me not to do the one and a half second jump so that if I fail, I lose a minute and a half. Darkwing, don't, don't, don't do the do one it. and a half second jump. Do it. Go, go right. <laughs> you guys didn't do enough to convince me! We got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he never goes right when I tell him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're, we're going to do this clip uh, you saw in 1-4 and 2-4 again. In 3-4, uh, I talked to Bad Breaks earlier this morning. And he would be upset if I didn't talk to about it. This is all basically him using this application of this clip you saw in 1-4 and 2-4 and applying it to 3-4. Um, now, for whatever reason, if you go, if you clip and go into a door uh, when Pit is on the other side of the screen, it thinks you're actually moving to the right. And so what I'm going to be doing here is going to the right-hand side of the screen. I have two clips I have to do. I have another lava clip here. I didn't get it this time. There it is. There it is. All right. And so we're going to apply it on the right hand side of the on the right hand side of the map, and it's going to take us off the map into the finishing area of the stage. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, oh. dang! Say so it was too far left. There, there you is. go. Yeah. E right. have everything. E have everything. <laughs> If you need something, go to E. E have everything. <laughs> so this last is an auto scroller. So it's kind of an anticlimactic way to finish. Uh, you have to kill 50 guys here in order to uh, spawn Medusa. Otherwise, when you get to the end of the stage, it loops. Um, so you just have to play well. Um, oh, hey, I didn't uh, do something dumb there and hit the guy on the top. So my goal here is to get four spawns of these starfish things, which I'm going to do. So that's good. So I'm going to be at 16. And it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all at this point. Um, breaking apart this next guy counts as one and killing his parts. I'll count as one. So that's 20. Nice. Um, 21. Uh, 23. My background in Zelda has really helped me with this game. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I should be killing those. Why am I not killing those? Uh, is that 27? 27. 30. Four. Oh, don't get hit by flowers. 35, 36, 38. Final boss is uh, Medusa. And uh, unfortunately, Medusa shoots at only like six different angles. And uh, it's very, but in angles where she doesn't shoot, um, 
you can actually hit her, so it's a very safe fight for the most part. Come on. Gotta get the double shot. There it is. Run validated. Yeah. <laughs> Why that works, I don't know. I think it's a sub pixel thing, but. Uh, there it is. So there is the block of freedom down there. Uh, the, that red block or purplish block or whatever color it is only shows up if you've met the requisite kill count. Otherwise, the entire level would just loop again. Oh, hey! I didn't know Spike Vegeta was in this game, too. Man, that's two games in a row. Still love you, Spike. So, 51 shots into Medusa's eye will do the trick. And then time will be when Darkwing loses control of Pit. He's going to find me back here. I know. He's going to be right after me. All right. Um, and time. 25. OK. As I predicted, like in my practice talking to these guys, uh, world, uh, the underworld is the hardest part in the speed run. Uh, once you get to world, it's so much fun to run uh, to one world three. It's almost better to just skip world one. Do World 2 and World 3, and it is a, a fantastic uh, speed run. It's pretty hard, I guess. Um, it has It's a really s steep mountain to climb to get good at the game, and then once you hit a plateau and it becomes easy, it's one of the weirdest uh, games I've ever learned uh, to run in that regard as far as its difficulty is concerned. So, yeah, any uh, final things from you guys? Because that was... That started off a little bit rough, like it was a 25 minute run and I lost a minute nine at the beginning. If I would have just reset, that would have been a just 24 minute run. So it was a good run, uh, with the exception of that really top uh, one, one death. So, yeah, to yeah. put in perspective uh, Darkwing's skill level at this game, if you take out that minute 10 that he lost in one, one, this time is second place on the leaderboard behind <laughs> himself. Yeah. So. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, Bad Breaks found that clip, uh, so I got a shout out to him. Shout out to the uh, breakfast room. Uh, hopefully the audio is on in there, so you know, cheer in there if you're there. Um, we miss you, Jorf, come back. Yeah, that too, yeah. He can definitely challenge you, beat my time, uh, once uh, if he comes back to it. So. Oh yeah, also 3-3 is apparently Jorf's favorite stage. I missed it. Yeah. I missed my win. I mean, yeah. You know,